new experiment programming 8086 to reverse a given string so for that as usual create a data segment this is the input string i have with me it is same like the moving a string i have i define my input string i calculated the length of the string i created seven duplicate values where i want to see the reverse of this string and then i created code segment in the code segment this time i am starting my program at 7000 hz memory location so indicating org 7000 hz these two are the data segment initialization steps and coming to the these steps first i am using lea si comma str1 i am indicating this is my input string h a n u m a n i am using si as a pointer to this memory so lea si comma str1 will calculate the effective address of this str1 and load that value into si now si will point to that particular memory where your input string is stored similarly lea di comma str2 i have created seven duplicate values i have created seven duplicate values they i want to put this string in reverse order instead of moving i want to reverse it so for that what do i do i have calculated the effective address of str2 wherever it is there and loaded into di now di will, will act like a pointer to this memory same like the moving string program but here we cannot write rep move sb if i write rep move sb what happens this h will come here a will come there and u m n this will become only moving string but i want reverse of this string this character should go there this character should come here and this should go there so i i should get n a m u n a h should be the output so for that we have to write program instead of using any instruction we have to write the program completely there is no instruction available to reverse the string so what did i do is i added seven to this di wherever the di is pointing i manually made it to increment this location to last i have added seven to that initially it was pointing to the first memory now i made it to point to the last location then after that what i am doing move cl comma len as usual how many number of times i have to move will be decided by the len so put that value into cl cl is a default counter then i used a label back i want to insert a loop in the program so i used a label whatever i write and put a colon in front of that that will become a label so this back label is will help us to repeat this number of steps for seven times in this program so what did i write here move a comma content of si this is called as content of si so what do you mean by content of si si is pointing to the first memory memory is 0000, 0000. so content of si means whatever the character or whatever the data that is available in this memory location will become the content of si so in the memory 0000 we have h so that h will be copied into al and from al whatever the character that is there h will be copied into di that means the first character which si is pointing is going into the place where di is pointing so this h will come here then i am incrementing si si is incremented then i am decrementing di di is decremented right i am checking okay i am doing one more step decrement cl <coughs> cl was initially 7 i am decrementing cl this will become 6 now i am checking jump if no zero is there any zero in this if there is no zero go to back in the back what is there move al comma content of si now this time we have a so a will be copied into al and a from al will be copied into di 
So I will get A here. Same process. Increment DSI, yes, decrement DI, and decrement this value of CL. It will become 5 now. Right? So jump if no 0, there is no 0, go back and copy the next character. What is the next character this time? We have N. Right? N is copied there. Again, increment your side. Decrement DI. Decrement CL. Is it 0? No. It will go back. Then it will copy the next character. So this will become 3, 2, 1. Then it will become 0. So for, for, for each time, we are copying character by character. So when all the characters complete, like we will get after n, we will get m here, then u, oh, h again, here u we will get. Like this. n, a, m, u, n, a, h. So this will happen in such a way that it is checking the value in the CL whether it is 0 or non-zero. There are 7 characters. So first time I copied H, next A, N, U, M, A, N. After this you see there is a 0. If there is a 0, what happens? This is checking. Jump if no 0. Go to back. Otherwise, go there. Because there is uh, no 0, it is going back. Every time there is no zero, it is going back. No zero, no zero, no zero. But after coming to this value, that is after decrementing CL from one to zero, it will check jump if no zero, no condition is not satisfied. There is a zero, it will won't go back. It will come out of the loop and it will stop the program. In the three H's breakpoint interrupt, it will stop executing the program and it will end the code segment. So this is how we will uh, get string reversed. So this is the program to reverse a given string.